the shadow lifted. And Happy Valley was no longer happy. Without all was misery. Things started to look pretty bad all over the place. Everything was drying up. The fields of golden corn turned to dust. <gasps> Babbling brook babbled no more. To think that this was once Happy Valley. Ooh, now it looked more like gruesome gulch. Anyway, days pass, weeks pass, and now in the whole kingdom there was nothing but peasants. Well, suppose we look in on some of these here peasants. This isn't a peasant, naturally, this is a cow. She used to be a good milker, but now she's an utter failure. <laughs> Anyhow, there they are, three poor, miserable peasants gripped by the pangs of starvation. Still alive, still kicking, sharing a pitiful crust between them. Share and share alike, sharing and staring and staring and sharing and sharing. But are their spirits broken? Have they lost hope? You bet they have, because they are facing starvation. There's nothing left but beans. Beans, what am I saying? I mean bean. Now, if it were one man and three beans, well, but no, one bean and three men. Well, anyway, one nice thing, there are no bones in it. Just look at that miserable duck. Nothing but a bag of bones and feathers. Truly a picture of despair. Despairing duck. But Donald doesn't whimper. Donald doesn't give up. Shut up! I can't stand it! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, buddy! Put the spork down. He says he's all right in a pig's eye. He suffered too much. But this, what diabolical thought is being hatched in the brain of this poor demented duck? No! No, no! Hey, buddy. Hey, little pal. Huh? <laughs>